Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at a new Intel Nook that we just got. It's kind of like their gaming um, edition compared to the regular Intel Nook Mini, uh, which is very small and sleek. Uh, the bigger uh, gaming model has, I love the ports on here. Um, you got the four USB 3.0s, you have one HDMI, two one gigabit uh, network jacks, two Thunderbolt jacks, two USB Cs, your optical for your speakers, which is nice in the back because you also have one in the front. I'll show you that in a minute. Then you have your power there, of course. And just looking at this thing, it looks like a, it's so much heavier than this smaller one. This one just seems like it's going to perform a lot better because it's got a dedicated uh, GPU in it as well. And then you have two USB 3.0s in the front, plus additional HDMI and USB-C and another headphone jack and a, a micro SD. Um, not micro, I'm just regular SD slot, and then your power button, of course. And I love, I love the design of this model. Um, it's geared towards the gaming uh, people because it just has so much more power. Uh, so we're going to be adding two 16 gig DIMMs to give us a total of 32 gig, which is the max amount of memory you can put in this, which is 32 gigs is plenty. And then we're adding a uh, NVMe drive, not the Samsung 970 Evo one terabyte, as you can see there. So let's go ahead and take this thing apart and upgrade this bare bone unit. So the first thing you want to do is we already did this. We removed the six screws on top, removing the one Phillips screw here, which we'll remove right now. And then that's it. Now we can go ahead and pull this this metal housing that we can go ahead and remove and now we have access to the two m not only one but you have two m.2 slots so you can actually add two in here which we're, we're going to actually do and then we got our memory slots here that we can add our ddr4 memory into so let's go ahead and add our memory and like i said these are a data um, 16 gig dims so we're going to add, and add these in here. There's one. There's a second one. Now we're going to go ahead and remove this one screw here. So then we can add our NVMe drive. So now let's go ahead and get our NVMe drive out. We're going to slide that in, just like so. And let's get our screw. Look at that one handed. Make it nice and snug. And that's it, you guys. I mean, it's that simple. It's just as simple as the smaller, tall ones. Um, Six screws, the one that holds this in place. You got your NVMe drive, our 32 gigs. And like I said, you can add a second NVMe. We were gonna do this, but we just realized we're gonna use that in another machine, so that's not what we're gonna do today. But if I wanted to, I could install a second one. Um, so let's go ahead and wrap this up. Let's get our front cover back on. Let's get that one screw back in. Final cover and there you guys have it just get all your screws in and you're all done hope this video was helpful for someone that's trying to build a bare bone kit unit um, I'll list the parts in the description so if you need to buy an NVMe drive that's compatible I mean usually you can buy pretty much anything any brand um, as long as an NVMe you want to get that because you don't want to get the SATA ones because I mean, they all work, but they they don't perform as good. So you definitely want to get um, an NVMe drive and then get some nice cores here or a data memory will be fine. And that's we're gonna go ahead and install Windows 10 on this, but um, I'm not gonna bother you with that because that's gonna be easy. You can look at my other videos to see how I can do a Windows 10 installation off a thumb drive. It's very easy. All right, you guys, there you have it. There's the Intel Nook. This has got the 8th generation i7. It really does have a true full desktop grade uh, CPU. It uses 100 watts. 
So compared to the other uh, i7s are like 30 to 40 watts. So this has got a true um, i7 in a desktop grade version at least. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and test this out. Thanks you guys for watching.